Khaki Madhouse with Roy Reed. Mo. Hey, Dad. Where are you, Dad? Here I am, young Abby. <laughs> If there is one name synonymous with the development of early Australian stage humour, it would be that of Harry van der Sluis, although he was better known as Roy Reen, or by the simple moniker Mo. <laughs> Hello, Mo. Hello, Sippy. Where have you been? I've had a wonderful time. Where? Be down to an orchard. An orchard? You know what an orchard is? An orchard? Yes. Sure I do. What is it? An orchard is a place where people orch. No, no. Born in... In Adelaide, in 1891, into a Dutch, Jewish, Australian family, his career spanned over 50 years as a star of vaudeville, theatre, film and radio. At 10 years of age, Harry won a singing competition at the Adelaide Market and in 1905 appeared professionally in the hit pantomime Sinbad the Sailor at the Theatre Royal. Soon after, he joined the Tivoli circuit as a singing and dancing act. He adopted the stage name Roy Reen in 1910, inspired by a famous French clown. Roy Reen's distinctive stage black and white face makeup, along with his large, soulful brown eyes, became his trademark. He was destined to become one of the world's greatest clowns. In 1914, he moved to Sydney and joined Bain's Princess Theatre at Railway Square and then Fuller's National Theatre. He was a master of comedy and song, often on the edge of risque, yet, off stage, he was a devoted family man. In 1929, he married comedian and singer Sadie Gale, often touring and recording together. In 1916, Roy Reen teamed up with another comedian and singer, Nat Phillips, and together they performed as Stiffy and Moe. Hello, Moe. Hello, Stiffy. I feel very worried. What's the matter? I'm a father today. A father? Yes, I'm a ten-pound baby boy. And you're crying? Yes. Well, you ought to be proud. If I was the father of a ten-pound baby boy, I'd shout it from the housetops. I would, I would be proud. But tell me, what does the little wife say about it? I don't know. I've not told her yet. They were an instant success, renowned for their larrikin and somewhat bawdy humour, they smashed theatre box offices wherever they played. Throughout the 20s and 30s, Roy Reen toured Australia and New Zealand extensively, especially for the Tivoli circuit, performing comedy, straight theatre and variety shows. In 1934, film director Ken G. Hall cast him as the lead in Cinesound's Strike Me Lucky, a feature movie, the title originating from Moe's best-known expression. Many of Moe's expressions became popular slang, including you be ut, struth, and fair shake of the sav. Roy Reen's character, the unsuccessfully posh, top-hatted Moe of Macaki Mansion, jumped from the stage in 1946 to become a radio favourite, with Macaki Moments, and later, as Professor Macaki, in It Pays to be Ignorant. Harry van der Sluis died of heart failure in November 1954 at his Kensington, Sydney home. He was 63 years of age. He left a legacy of laughter. The annual Mo Award for Excellence in Australian Performance is named in his memory. Mo is buried in the Jewish section of Rookwood Cemetery. Mm-hmm.